Hi, I'm Jordan. I'm Lewis. Hi, I'm Leo. And, and this, this is Faye. Faye. Join the Bye family as we up sticks and reroute from the hustle and bustle of the UK to a more simplistic life in Bulgaria. Watch as we learn, grow, fail, succeed, and everything in between. From Bournemouth to Bulgaria. Yeah. I need to sort that out. This place is crazy. So we had some heavy, heavy storms yesterday. And when I say heavy, I mean heavy. The outcome was that water came rushing down from the hills at the top. And then they rushed down our drive, or, or this this road. They rushed down this road. You can kind of see where it, where it cuts a path through here, look. So see here? And then you can kind of see how it's all come through here and up there. See where the sand the sand went all the way up to the curb. So it cut, cut all the way through here. And it creates like a river coming down. And the problem with that is my septic tank's right at the end of it. So now on top of finishing the septic tank to its full state, I also need to stop water from running down this road at ridiculous rates when storms hit because it just cuts through everything. And just to show you how bad it does cut through things, you can see here all the hard work we did in filling all of this in is beginning to become undone, which we, we don't want. I think as a temporary thing, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to fill all of this with concrete. And what it will do is it will just give us a fighting chance so that the mud doesn't have anywhere to come out of. It's not the best thing in the world, that's for sure. It's just one more problem this thing throws at you. The plan is at the start of the drive, I'm going to put a, a drainage system in that throws the water and diverts it straight off the cliff. Right up the end there, that's the plan. And I'm going to get, get a digger to come in dig me a big trench right across and then that way we'll just throw it straight down there it's not just a problem for for the septic tank it's actually a problem for the house in general because if the if the entire village water because there's no drainage here they don't have a drainage system they can't handle water they don't handle water well at all so the only way that we're really going to be able to look after this cliff edge is to divert it over there and stop it coming down here and just flowing off the edge all the time because that's what it does the whole thing and then it just cuts down the cliff cuts through the cliff and it erodes it over time as well which is just not ideal for where we're where our house is so yeah we are uh, got some more work to do of course why wouldn't we i've not seen a storm like that before i've not seen a storm like that that was intense scary almost so, we're in the house. Today's been a big decision, hasn't it, George? It has been a big decision. It's a curveball. We've, mm. we've been thrown a curveball. And it's essentially... This house looks lovely. Wash that up. Stop it. Um, what is that? Is that a... No, that's just that's someone's head. Yeah. That's feathers. Oh, there's a dead bird. Um, right. So, we're actually going to move into the house and not into the annex because actually it's a lot harder to move into the annex because of the work that needs to be done to the rafters on the wood um, on, on the building, uh, the support beams and stuff is in a lot worse condition than the house is. So actually it's a cheaper job to fix the house roof because there's no, not really any replacing to do. It's just taking the tiles off and putting some felt down and putting the tiles back on really and kind of insulating it and making it nice so we're going to come in here so we're going to start revealing a bit of light in here stripping this place down and, and kind of going at it but we're in here now just kind of figuring out what we're going to do taking, you're making a lot of racket i'm taking this chair because the rafters are broken that's true actually i didn't even know we had that <laughs> I'm taking that um what about the ceiling though like what you can't what what's cracked 
Yeah, but we can ripple this down if we want to. That is a big old moth. Yeah, that is a big moth. Yeah, we can ripple the ceiling down. We'll deal with that later. Like, it's not so that's what we're doing, coming and ripping the ceiling down. No. We won't. But, it, we, but we probably will. Yeah. Okay. We'll probably fix the roof. Yeah. And then rip the ceiling down for safety because it's not great. And maybe put up some plasterboard yeah. and just have insulation. Do you want to go and oh, let some light into this lovely building? First time in our long. Keep these curtains though. They look lovely. Go on, Joel, take that, take that horrible thing off. Can you actually open a window though? Should we try now? Oh, oh. Oh, they're so cool. Oh. Oh, they're just lovely. I love them. Like, terrible for everything else, but. They Perfect look... for aesthetic. Look at them like a farm girl. Okay, well, I'm not going to convince you to change the windows, am I? Okay, but hear me out. Hear me out. I'm going to throw you a curveball. Hmm. Kitchen. Oh. View. Oh, yeah, look, just temporary. Stop thinking about long term. Yeah, but I'm just temporary. thinking. Let's just get in, yeah? Yeah, I don't want to change them yet. No. There's a window behind there, you see? Yeah. There's a window behind there. There's. Two in here. So what we passed off. You do this is this is all coming down. That's got to come down. Ceiling's going to come down. And then these windows. They look. They look so nice. How much? Go on. Pull them. No. Why? Come on. I'm, do one. I did one. You do it. Here. Oh my god. Oh look at that cute little window. If that doll's head spins round. Whoa, come on. Here's Johnny! <laughs> How much light is that letting? Lots. Lovely. Awesome. So look, got nice little windows. Oh. I love them. I know. They're not going. I know. <laughs> we will freeze, but we will look cute. If you're enjoying what we're doing, enjoying watching what we're doing, and you're following the journey, it goes a long, long way to get a like and a subscribe for the channel. Uh, please don't forget. And again, also you can set your notifications uh, with the little bell icon, and then you'll get an update whenever we post a video. All right, so with the new plan of not moving into the annex and moving into the house, we're gonna start making the stairs a little bit nicer to walk up. So the current stairs look like this, they're a bit of a mess. And they did look even worse than this, so we're gonna clear these up and and get rid of the majority of the of the rubble and the crap and the broken cement, and hopefully get them to a place where we can walk up them and maybe cement some new ones in. That that's the plan anyway. I'm gonna crack on, get on with that. See how we get on. Had a dig, had a sweep, and uh, we got some good results. Well, <laughs> we can walk up them, and that's the main thing. Uh, that's what they're looking like now. So I'd say pretty big difference. Can certainly, you know, I mean, the, the top layers come off the render kind of layer, and we're kind of left with the foundations of, of concrete underneath. But you know, we can uh, can redo this, and uh, but yeah, I mean, I could really, I really struggled to get up up there earlier, and, uh, and so so win. Yeah, that bed's lovely. Leo said he's happy for it. These what? Leo said, yeah, that's a good bed. I like it. The bed. Yeah, I said I'll get you a new mattress, and he went, yeah, all right. <laughs> Careful. You didn't mess about here. <laughs> this one has resumed. Rip the curtains down. Look how deep the window sill is in here. Yeah, it's amazing, isn't it? That's lovely. Yeah. Leave the curtains if you want, because they're really nice. I like they're them. broken. Oh, just a little bit. Cut that. Yeah. Cut that. they will be lovely. There's a lovely pattern on them curtains, Lou. And look, they've even got a nice little curtain rail. Why are you ripping my lovely I'm curtains? I'm trying to slide them, but I don't believe they do. All right, we'll just leave them. Oh. oh. Some pressure. I don't think that's on there very well. What's the view like? Views. Uh, hindered by a bush, but it's actually not too bad, you know? From this room. I knew I'd find a record player, Lou. I knew it. A little record player. You're buzzing about that, aren't you? I really am, because there's so many. Look at all the records here. Like, and what is in that briefcase back there? I just don't know. Oh, we haven't opened that yet, have we? No. Open it. My, my record player. And my records. 
<gasps> oh, oh, oh my gosh, that's so cute. Bring it out here. That, next time I go to the airport, I know what I'm taking. I don't know if it, if it, it needs a key. No. Yeah, it needs a key. Is there stuff in there? Yeah. <gasps> Crowbar it out. Oh, my God. Are they unlocked already on the one? Oh. Oh, I need to ruin it. I didn't. Oh, that one. Oh. <gasps> oh. Oh, clothes. Baby clothes. <gasps> no. No. That would have been knitted by someone. And if there's anything in there that's a bit best. So I don't know if you noticed, but she'll be uh she'll be losing her marbles there over Wait this one. Wait until you see Faye at Christmas and then. Look at this face. Oh, Faye's going to look lovely in that. Oh, my God. Oh, it's an all-in-one. Poor kid. Oh, stop. She's going to love it. Oh, come on. I'd wear them. <laughs> oh, there's a matching set. <gasps> that. Chuck that in the wash. You can wear it tonight. <laughs> oh, it's so cute. Oh, come on. That's adorable. That. Perfect for winter. That is gross. I'm a so, rat lover. We just found this vintage Hoover. <laughs> Comes with a very vintage friend. Where's his face? Mummified rat. Where's his face? I don't know, but he's Why in. Why do all the rats do that here? Oh, he's very mummified. He is, isn't he? Like his feet are fully intact. Should I pick him up? Oh my god, you're vile. Should I? No. No. Just, but it's cool though, Hoover. Get that out. Yeah, so we have a Hoover. And I looked at it and I was like, that's bloody old, isn't it? That's really old. Turns out that the Hoover's from 1966 and it was made in the USSR. And it's some, like, it looks like a rocket. It literally looks like a rocket. Um, I'll pop a picture of it up here. Um, I've seen a few, I've seen a few pictures online. I've seen what they're selling for. And I'm quite surprised, actually. They're selling for around, like, between 200 to $300. I love the history of it, 1966 it's from. I don't know if this one's exactly from 1966, but it looks almost identical to, to the pictures that say they were made in this era. So yeah, uh, I'll just show you it. It's really, really, it's really cool. This is the uh, the front. Now my guess is maybe it didn't come from 1966. I'm guessing this must be some sort of date. Potentially, maybe, I don't know. I might be wrong. It might just be a code, actually, because it looks like I thought it might be 1975 because there's 75 on the end, but maybe it's not. Maybe it is. Who knows? Um, but I love this. It says made in the USSR. And then you go into the box and it's like it's literally like they never used it. It's immaculate. It is. I mean, I've not pulled it out fully yet. I probably will at some point, but this is one of the coolest things I've found so far. I have to admit it really is. I'm so, I've got to see if it works as well. It must work, because it looks like it's just, I mean, it's obviously, it has been used, but it's, uh, it's so cool. Stop finding stray cats and homing them. Stop. There's something mentally wrong with you. <laughs> yes, but are you already adopted? All he does is meow. She? Oh no. No. And you've just adopted a baby boy. Yeah, but this one is not ours yet. <laughs> She's still here. <laughs> Alright, so currently we are well into the uh, the cleaning process of this property, which is nice. It's starting to open up things, you know, it's this the air in here is really nice. We've had the windows open for some time. Not that it was too bad anyway, to be fair, but like now that there's light in here, I'll just give you a little tour of, of where we're at at the minute. So you walk up the stairs. As you come up the stairs, we've got... There's still rubbish and stuff that I'm clearing out at the minute. We've kind of dumped everything on here. Some of the stuff, this is some of the stuff we kind of want to keep. There's bits and bobs in here that we think is pretty cool. And then you've got these lovely wooden doors that we're going to restore. They're very, very nice. Very solid. We found the keys for them, so that's good. And then, so room number one, here. Okay, we've got some serious damage up here. I say serious damage, we've got, we've got a, 
the render's going to come off here, it has to, like it's it's gone. Um, I actually had a look at the lintel, although it's damp, it's not rotten, surprisingly. This is this is rotten, this door frame, so we're probably going to have to replace this. Uh, but as for the lintel that supports supports the wall, it's in pretty good condition. But the water that's been coming in through this area here, uh, where the roof hasn't been doing its job, is, is obviously causing damage. Um, but, you know, overall, pretty good, pretty good. There seems to be, in here, there's no smash, there are a couple of smash windows, actually. Smash window here, which needs replacing, this window needs replacing. We've been advised to get double glazing. Probably the right solution, but you try telling Jordan to get rid of these windows, which, if I'm honest as well, I actually love. So, you know, we, we both don't want to get rid of them, because just look how cool Look at these, look at this lovely handle here. You know, that handle is just, they're awesome. They all work, you know, and they, they've got this cool little sliding bar all the way down, really well thought out. And then you've got these windows here, which open up. How can you not love these? How can you actually not love these? Look at that. Who'd want to get rid of them for some horrible PVCs? No one. Wait till we restore these, they'll look beautiful. And then we just need to maybe find some sort of single pane tempered glass that's going to keep it a bit warmer than the old glass that is already there. Um, and that might be something we do later down the line when we've got a little bit more money and we can afford to kind of do those things. So as we come out, then we've got these big, lovely double doors here. Huge, lovely double doors. This is all something that needs sorted as well. So we'll have to get on, on with that. Um, it looks worse than it is. The bricks themselves are nice and hard. Some of them maybe need replacing. Some of them, not all of them, some of them. The water that's been running through has, has kind of washed it away. So we'll get up there and kind of fix that, get that rendered up and patched up. So we walk through these double doors. We come into this big open space here, which is quite nice. That's the old, electric box up there, the old fuse box, switchboard, whatever you want to call it. That's going to be replaced with new. All of this ceiling is going to come down. Um, and then we go left and we've got this room here. Beautiful wardrobe, which came with the house, solid wood. Absolutely amazing. Like you just don't get wardrobes like that in the UK. You just don't get them. You know, built to last, built to last for absolute ever. Like I think this thing's probably seen God knows how many lifetimes. Such a fantastic wardrobe. So yeah, this is our, Room, you've got lovely windows there again, overlooking the garden. How cool is that? You sit here, you've got your grapes, grapes there. See all your veg growing, you've got the barn over there in the corner. And over here, if you want to sit here, here's your view if you want to sit here. Look at that view, sat there. Just sat here looking at that view, wonderful, unbelievable. And then look, like I say, we have a leak in the ceiling here. Uh, <laughs> a leak. Uh, we have a so the roof obviously is on the list to get repaired. We start this on Saturday, um, so we're going to start repairing the roof, and then obviously once that's repaired, um, we're probably going to start ripping this down ASAP. This ceiling because we think the whole thing can just come down. There's no need for oh that is that is a rotten floorboard there, so that needs replacing. I've just stepped on that one. That's a bit rotten. That's a bit rotten. So we might have to do some repair work put a board in there just to fix that most of these are really good and like i thought these would be really bad from the water for some reason but they're not these ones are actually quite good for some reason this one seems to be weak here so we need to sort that out there's no leak in the ceiling so I'm not sure why it is and we're going to cut a big hole in the floor and it goes down into the basement so I'm going to turn the basement into a lounge area. This will be a kitchen area, like almost like a temporary kitchen area. It's kind of like our first phase of, of getting into this property. And this room will be lovely. We get it all cleaned up and it'll be a beautiful little room. We've got this room here. The plan is to make this a bathroom area. So we'll come in and we'll have somewhere where we can stay warm, wash and whatnot. This will be like a mini hallway here. And this will be a bedroom. Um, oh, actually, I think Jordan's changed the plan. I think to make it easier, no stud wall, I think we're just going to bash a door straight through here into that first room that you saw. And this will be the kids' room. And that will be our room temporarily. You can't knock that view, can you? From your window. 
best house in the village it's time to shout out our patreons we just want to say a huge thank you for taking the time to sign up to our patreon page so firstly let's go ahead and bring those people up and we just want to say a huge thank you to you guys for supporting us for supporting our page being a part of this journey with us it really does mean a lot we thank all of you the page that we've created is just a little bit of something back for the time and the efforts that we do put into creating all these great videos for you guys. But we do go a little bit further with this and we do put a little bit more effort into the Patreon page and we put behind the scene videos up. We do have a new video vlog feature up where we're asking the people who support us what they would do with specific parts of the land, specific buildings on our what would you do video vlog. If you want to get involved, the link will be down in the description. Go ahead, go check it out. Please keep watching our videos. We really do appreciate your support. We're in the house today and uh, I'm going to rip this ceiling down because it is battered. Um, there's cracks all the way across it. You know, it's made of bamboo and mud and straw, and it's time to say goodbye to it. One thing I learned from last time when I did the annex, it was horrible. I put a bandana over my face. Rat poo was falling into my eyes. I couldn't breathe. Stuff was going in my mouth. It was a vile, vile situation. So I've got these. Got some goggles, and we got face masks with a filter. So hopefully it won't be... As horrid this time round. What do you all think? Eh? All right? I think we should start hitting some stuff down. I don't know where I'm going to start. I'll probably start at the hole. Um, I'm just going to start ripping some down with a crowbar first and just kind of see how I get on. Hmm. Get a So the roof is down. Those lovely beams. Okay, and sunlight coming through the ceiling, which is not good. Um, or through the roof, should I say. Sunlight coming through the roof. Ceiling's down. And this is that. So you can see see the ceiling. How pretty is that? Unreal. So nice. And that's the floor. So now we've got to shovel it all out the window so that we can deal with it at a later date. Need to get rid of all of this. But it's nice to see it clear. It looks beautiful. Jordan wants to put plasterboard over the top of the beams. I don't know how she's going to do that. I think it's almost impossible. Because you can't plaster on the other side of that. I don't know. <laughs> I want to plaster on this side nice and quick. She wants the beams out because that's Jordan and... She has to make things hard, don't you, my lovely wife? So, as you can see, Jordan has been hard at work. She's come in and shoveled all the stuff out of the room that I've pulled down from the ceiling this morning. Uh, let's go check out what she's done. She's actually even separated the sticks from the rubble so that we can burn them in the Petchka. Um, I'm actually very, very relieved that she came in and did that because I was napping after the roof and I really wanted it to be done today. So it's good stuff, really. Are you ready? Lovely. You know, we've got to get up and do the roof anyway. So we've got to go up. So we're probably going to make some more mess in here. So it's pointless really trying to make it look super nice. It just there's no, it makes no sense in it. But yeah, that's good. Exciting stuff. We're off on the roof today. He's turned up uninvited. Always. <laughs> Always. Um, we're on the roof, so we're going to jump on the roof and we're going to get fixed in. Hopefully we'll be able to get ourselves into the house. Hopefully not, not too long. Uh, it's not an easy job, I'm not going to lie. But... Thankfully most of it's alright. It's, it's not too bad. I reckon we'll have it done in about an hour. <laughs> Once a day that I would pray for you I'd go and misbehave just so you'd notice too Sneaking looks up and down from across the room Damn, what a hell of a view I got up at 5.45 to 
head into Svilingrad, which is a town close to us. That's where you get money out. If you need to get money out, that's where we get it out from. Uh, because it's uh, that we don't have an ATM in our village, which is actually really frustrating. I wish there was one, uh, because it costs money to go and get money out when you have to. So it's never ideal, but the reason I'm up so early, the reason I'm getting some money out is because yesterday we went down to the village shop that the mayor owns and I was looking for a worker, someone to help me out with the roof because with the roof it's really difficult because you're up and down and we're, we're like, like you'd expect with any older roof you're at risk of breaking tiles and you know I've broke a lot of tiles just, just moving around. You need someone to pass you the materials so that there's less risk of you breaking stuff so I need a worker, and plus I just need to take the load off. Like, and if I can find someone who's good, you can just labor, come and do the basic things. I say you do this, mix some cement, all those types of bas basic things, uh, saves my back, pay someone else to do it. You pay these people 50 levs per day, uh, which is the equivalent to about 20 quid in England. So, and they're worth eight hours, uh, which is quite surreal. Um, but around here, it's that, that's the going rate. Like that's what it costs around here. So, so I'm not going to complain. At twenty pound, twenty pound a day, we're going to have someone come and help me for the day, and it is fully welcomed. Hopefully, he's a good worker. Hopefully, he's a hard worker. And that's kind of the main thing. There he is, working away. We're getting very close now with the roof. We are on the opposite side of the building. Um, which is actually very scary and you should 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 have um some scaffolding up but we don't i'm probably dangerously going towards the edge and i shouldn't be but i don't really have much choice so i am i'll show you guys where we are what we've got done so far so we've got this side's complete this side of the roof is now complete this is fine everything's been done but on this side we've cemented all the roof in so at the top we're just working on this side here and then on the opposite side, it also needs to be done. And that's where I am at the moment. And then a bit of cement needs to go around that chimney there. And at some point, probably over the other chimney as well, just to kind of seal it off. And then we'll be finished. I can't see any more areas that need work as of yet. I mean, the rest of it kind of looks pretty good. So once that's done, that I mean, I'm hoping this will be done today. I really am, because I'm not enjoying being up so high. It's quite a, It's quite a drop. It's not a... You know, it's a two-story building, so to be doing this with no kind of safety is really dangerous, and, and I wouldn't recommend it. This is Nikolai. <laughs> he is a braver man than me. He's a braver man than me. I wasn't going up there. Absolute nut job. No way. Look who's come to join us. You're going to grow up in a beautiful home. You are my little girl. We will put the work in now and it'll be wonderful. Okay, so I've woken up next day after finally finishing the roof. I forgot to do a video yesterday, um, but we've got the roof done. I'm gonna flip the camera around, show you guys. It has a little bit of a mess, so don't judge it too much, but the actual roof itself is done, which is probably one of the most relieving things I've felt in a while after doing the septic tank, um, because it gets to the point where it gets really, really difficult to do it. And, uh, and you start to get tired and fatigued. But having Nikolai help me was probably one of the biggest things. Yeah. You just, there's not too much to see. But it's done. It's done. And now we can get inside and we can start doing some, some internal home improvements. We've got one more ceiling to rip down, some plasterboard to put up, some insulation to put in, and some more plasterboard. And then electrics. <laughs> told not to knock this roof down, this ceiling down, but I can't help myself. It's too, I just want it down. So I've got someone in to help me rip it down. I'm going to do it twice as fast. Um, it's crap, it's crap ceiling. It ain't good. I want it gone. I don't want to sleep under it. We're going to put it down. <laughs> right guys, here we have it. Another room, another ceiling. <laughs> I just love 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 these beams how can you not how can you not love these open top ceilings that's what's going to be in this room eventually one day 
not this year, but now we have two rooms, ceilings down, both of them. We got this down in three hours, cleared out down in three hours with two of us. And that for me was the big selling point of coming in here and getting it down. Now, if I was doing it by myself, I probably wouldn't have done it this year. Um, but now that I found a worker, things are just moving at double the speed and it makes a huge difference. You, you pay these people peanuts, you really do, because that's what it is. In comparison to our living wage, compared to what we earn in the UK. So, you know, you get these people in and they'll, they'll help you get stuff done pretty damn quick. So he's gonna come back, we're gonna insulate it, plasterboard it, and that'll be it for this year. There'll be no paint, there'll be no plaster. Um, there'll be a bit of render going on the wall. We're gonna patch render over here. We're gonna patch render over here. Now that the roof's on and obviously everything's dry, nothing leaking, we should have no problems getting things rendered up, getting things painted. Looking a bit nicer. I think Jordan's planning on saving this one wall here as like some sort of feature wall. But yeah, we've got some big plans and things are moving in the right direction, which is amazing. We have a house with a roof and it's dry. And like it's all we've got to do is electrics and oh and the stairs. We've got to do the stairs because stairs are very dangerous. Unfortunately, one of our work the worker that we had here fell down them the other day. So that's the condition of the stairs. They're not in the best condition. So we've got to do that as well. So lot, there's still lots to do, but I think we can really, in the next week, I think we can get this house looking much, much different. I just saw it. There. Something, that's a skull, isn't it? Pick it up. Yeah. Is it? Yeah. Part of a skull. That way? I don't, I've no idea. Yeah, look. A bit too deformed, isn't it? Not quite the full skull that you've been looking for, but they're about. You've been looking for a skull for ages, haven't you? I'm so excited. Yeah, that's definitely something there. Yeah. yeah. Ooh, it's exciting, Lance. Oh, how you all doing guys? It's going to be a super, super blurry, horrible video. How to start this one? I'm doing electrics at night. <laughs> electrics at night. I'm on a race against the clock. I need to get back to the UK. Um, and I want to get Jordan and the kids into the house. So um, we've been out all day trying to sort residency out. And, uh, and I'm just in here trying to sort the first phase of the, uh, the sockets. So... I'm doing the first, the first loop for, for some of the rooms and, uh, and climbing into the attic space and stuff and just trying to sort, pull, kind of pull the wire in. Oh my God. Oh my God, there we go. Pull the wire in through the ceiling. See that? So we are uh, currently doing electrics in here. And uh, this is gonna be for the sockets. We're gonna run this into some trunk and in, in the wall. And uh, yeah, it should be a... Uh... Ah! Okay, I don't know. <laughs> I'm gonna get me light back. So I don't know how long this is gonna take me. I'll probably stop soon. Um, but yeah, we're doing the electrics. I'll carry on video and tomorrow when I do some more. Okay, so it's morning here, next day. I just wanted to kind of show you where I'm at currently while there's a bit more daylight doing it in the night. It's not, not ideal, but given the circumstances right now, it's what I have to do. Uh, so we are just about to finish the wiring, like in terms of like getting the wires where they need to be around the house for um, two separate circuits that I've done, kitchen dining area, and also like the bedrooms, the hallway. I'll give you a, I'll give you a little look uh, at kind of how it's looking at the minute. I'm literally just about to finish running my last bit of 2.5 twin and earth wire back to the fuse board, to create a, a full loop on the sockets. So. I mean, for a lot of you, you won't know what the hell is going on, but for some of you, you will. These these will essentially be a socket. This is where a socket will be, here on the kitchen side. This is where kitchen counters are gonna go. There's gonna be another one there. And then there's gonna be one down here, which will be next to a dining room table. And that, literally, that's all the loop we're doing for this room. That's all on a 32 amp switch on the fuse board. But we will eventually, off the same circuit, run down to, down to downstairs where there'll be a lounge. This will continue and then, you know, we'll get a few more sockets on that. And then I've got through here, 
I'm gonna have a socket here in the bathroom. I know some people are like, ooh, don't have a socket in the bathroom. We're going to, because if Jordan wants to blow dry her hair or something by the sink, or by a mirror, then, you know, I don't see no harm in it. I can't see it being a problem. It would be nowhere near the bath. Um, so there's not gonna be one there. Out here, we've got another one where we can like plug the hoover into, those kinds of things. Maybe an air freshener. Um, this will be Leo's room. So he's got gonna have a socket there. He's gonna have a socket there. And then in our bedroom, we've got, we're gonna put the bed here. Um, we're gonna get rid of this cupboard. We don't like it. We don't, we like the wood and the functionality of it, but it's just not practically in the right place for us. So we'll, let, we'll unfortunately we'll end up bricking it up, but it's a shame. Maybe we'll, we can reuse some of it and recreate it in some form, especially the wood, because the wood's lovely, but we're gonna brick this up and get rid of it because we're not overly keen on it. So yeah, we're gonna get rid of that. We're gonna put our bed here. And what that does is it just allows us to be able to wake up in the morning, see the view out of these lovely windows and kind of enjoy the room rather than putting the bed in a position where you don't really get to enjoy the view. I'd like to wake up and see how nice it looks outside. And then we've got obviously another one there. That's probably where we'll put a TV of some sort. That's where we're at with the wiring so far. So yeah, doing good. We are on the final socket of my bedroom. So that means that we're now kids room, bathroom, hallway, nearly kitchen i need to go and get a little bit more cable and then that's pretty much it um all i've got to do from that moment is <laughs> wire up the fuse board and we should be good uh, to fire up some electric in here and then crack on with the next thing which is going to be the ceilings it's getting increasingly cold here for sure 24th of september today um so you know we're, we're approaching october they say that the days here stay pretty good until november it's just the mornings and the evenings get pretty cold which seems to be the case so yeah final socket and it won't be too long until we're until we're, we've got power. Oh, I'm too big for this stuff. Okay, so as you can see, here's my coil. So I'm just taking this around with me. But there is a bit of a lump. But if you're hard like me, it won't be too difficult. The bigger the cable, the heavier it is. In the kitchen, I've ran one switch in the hallway, and I've saved some wire over here. I tied it in a knot. Left myself some for the future because I know that I'm gonna end up wiring the bathroom, uh, but we don't have a partition wall up yet and I want it on the wall. So I'm not gonna drill anything yet until that's built. So I've saved some wire for that, tied in and pulled off what I needed, tied it in a knot and left it there. And now we're going into uh, the kids' bedroom now. So, oh. So as you can see, attic. So you can see my socket wire over there already. <clears throat> and you can see all these floating orbs that are flying around. This is uh, the ghosts of the house that are coming to kill me. Drilled a hole over here somewhere. Ha ha. Here you go. See it? I can tell because the imprint from the mud is still here. So obviously they use a lot of mud and straw out here. So all the ceilings are kind of, well, mud and straw and whatever else they use. But I know there's going to be a hole down there. So I'm going to take some wire from my coil like so. And obviously bearing in mind everything's still linked up at the moment. And then all you do is let me just put the camera down oh on your knees lewis yes uh, take your wire nice and simple it's really not that difficult i just fold it so you get that little loop poke it through poke it through the ceiling then it'll go through the ceiling you'll see it on the other side and then i just take a little look at what what wire is the is attached to the coil not the one on the other side because otherwise you start tugging on all the stuff you've pulled down already so with the light system, it's go, to, go from one switch to the next switch, to the next switch, to the next switch. Um, and then all your lights kind of spur off the switch. So like, you run your next wire. So e each switch will have three wires, essentially, coming from it. Um, the live in, obviously the live out to the next switch, and then the wire that spurs off of it that goes to the light. But yeah, like I said, I'm not an electrician. Everything I show you, I'm not any of it. <laughs> but I'm just doing it anyway. Oh, it's funny. Okay, let's keep going. So for the first time, we're going to turn this on. I'm sorry if it doesn't work. We believe in you, Dada. No, no, true. That's number one on it. Didn't flip back off. Let's go for the light, shall we? That's on. Go and try a light. Go. No. No. Nothing. 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 This happens. Are you still videoing? Yeah. My pain. <laughs> I've done something wrong. <laughs> that means you're learning. 
Why are the lights not working? What have I done wrong? Okay, we'll figure it out. Okay. Has Dada fixed it? <gasps> yeah! <laughs> yes, 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 oh. yes, 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 yes. Light, light, light. Sit down. Um. Next time on From Bournemouth to Bulgaria. <laughs>